Subscribe and keep watching for a special offer coming soon from Olight. UtahGunExchange.com, the nation's patriot marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see Blade HQ cut all the things. Hey guys, we're at SHOT Show 2018 at the Surefire booth and I'm here with Andrew. We're gonna talk about some new products. Take it away, Andrew. Awesome. So yeah, new for this year, we're focused on getting back to our core customers. And uh, with that is the new M600 DF. Okay. DF stands for dual fuel. So this Scout Light, again, it's a weapon light meant for long guns. It uses both an 18650 lithium ion rechargeable, rechargeable battery, yep. or it can use two 123s. Gotcha. On the 18650, it's putting out 1500 lumens. Nice. So 1500 lumens is a whole lot of light, very compact package. It's the same uh, bezel diameter as the previous Scout Light. The body got a little bit fatter to accommodate the 18650. Okay. Beam pattern is uh, nice and tight, so it gives you a lot of throw, but a lot more spill than the previous Scout Light. So it's a beautiful beam pattern for just yeah, let's about. Look at that one more time. Just about everything that you could do with a carbine. Nice. Yeah. Good. Another common question is it still fits the same tail caps and accessories and mounts that the other Scout Lights did. So all of our throw lever mounts, offset mounts, and then pressure switch tail caps, all of that will work with the M600 DF. Awesome. I like it. Yeah. So these all right here are showing the different uh, tail cap options, mount options. We've shown these in the years past, so we can kind of breeze past these. Sure. Brand new as well, the Mini Scouts have recently gotten upgraded. So this is the one battery Scout light. It's gone up to 500 lumens. So for SBRs, for PDWs, for anything smaller where overall length is an issue, yeah. it's 500 lumens now for the one battery Scout light. And that's a single CR123? Yes, it's a single CR123. Got so it. So a whole lot of light out of a little package. And this would be it in Coyote. Yep. Nice. comes in both tan and black. like it. So, moving up over here, we yeah. have our XH55 and our XH35. The XH55 is brand new, first time showing it here at the show. What it is is, similar to our X400 series where you have a light and a laser combination, the laser is now top mounted. Okay. Previously it was on the bottom. Now what this does is it reduces your height over bore, your offset. Yeah, it brings it closer to the, your actual line. Exactly. When it was on the bottom there was a decent amount of offset. Depending on where you zeroed it could be a little bit of an issue. Yep. So uh, again we're bringing it higher closer to the bore which is beneficial to the shooter. Mm -hmm. With this particular unit you have a max vision reflector which gives you a super wide even beam pattern. It puts out a thousand lumens on high and with the switches on the bottom you can designate, okay, I want laser only, or I want light only, I want laser only, or I like light only. it, I like it. So it gives you those options. Easy to change, but not easy to change by accident. Exactly, that's the idea. You set it, and then that's the way you run it. Yeah. Uh, activation's the same as our previous X300s and X400, so you push forward for momentary, and then you rock it for constant on. I like it. That's our XH55 G for green. Moving on over here to our XH35, we launched this about a month ago, a uh, thousand lumen pistol weapon light. Wow. So the switch is on the bottom, similar to on the XH55, but on this model you can toggle between I want to run a strobe or I want to run it yeah, on high or low. So low is 300 light. lumens, high is a thousand lumens. Gotcha. Again, it's that max vision reflector. You can see that the beam pattern is extremely wide, kind of equated to a wall of light. Yeah. Very good for intermediate to, to middle range distances. Yeah, good, good. Pretty much anything that you're going to engage with a pistol. It's right, a perfect exactly. Amount of light. It's, and, it's, and it's almost more for getting the area illuminated, knowing your target. It, it's really good for increasing your situational awareness because yes. you're not kind of sucked into the small I like it. point. You're seeing everything that's going on. I like it. Very, very good. This is our compact uh, kind of concealed carry line. It's our XC1 and our XC2. XC1's on the bottom. It's light only. It's powered by one AAA. Okay. For uh, activation, you're pressing down, so if you shoot forward with a thumbs forward grip, yes. your support thumb can simply press down. Exactly. All right. And now a quick tap, like you just found, a quick tap will go to constant. So for one-handed activation, you can quick tap it, and it'll go to so constant. Okay. Just a quick, quick tap. Yep, just yep. like that. And, and then, then when you momentarily activate it, it'll be momentary. Easy enough. And so on the XC2, it's a little bit taller because it accommodates a laser. So this is for light and laser combination for gotcha. concealed carry. Again, it's just one AAA battery, but it has both light and laser. And the laser closer to the bore. Yep. It's nice center mounted in the top. Uh, that is very nice. So a nice sort of like concealed carry or minimal uh, light for... Exactly. For These aren't a replacement for what we consider like our duty grade lights, the X300s and X400s. Yeah. If you can carry that, you probably should. If you're sure. wearing any type of a uniform plate carrier, you're already bulky. You know, more light's always better. But for CCW, these don't really add any width 
Um, like I said, on a, on a Glock, these don't add any width to it. They're yep. really easy to conceal, and it's a great option for that. 300 lumens, great brightness level. Yep. Triple A, triple A battery. You said correct. Uh, very common, obviously. It's a good package. Yep. And then we'll uh, we'll cut over to the other side real quick. Okay, we got some more stuff. So, all right, Andrew, what do we got on this side? Yeah. So going over some of our handheld products. Brand new is the Guardian. So this is the DBR, stands for dual beam rechargeable. One reflector for distance, one reflector for uh, close in. So as you see, this is more of a tight spot. That'll give you more candela or more throw. The other one is a much more wide beam pattern for close in. Okay, gotcha. Both you have the option of using our IntelliBeam. So if you notice, when it gets close to me, it's dialing down and then it'll dial up. There's a sensor what? that detects how much light is bouncing back. So if you're reading a map or something up close, it will not overwhelm your eyes, but if you shine it far away, it will dial up. Okay. That works with both reflectors. This is the first I've heard of that technology. Yeah, we've been doing IntelliBeam for about two years now wow. uh, on various different lights. So we're integrating on, on this one as well. Okay. Now that's a programmable feature. There's five different programs that you can set. Basically a secret handshake with the switch when charging. Okay. And you can set the programs whether you want to use that or not. I got you, okay. Very it's cool. a USB-C rechargeable, okay. lithium ion battery, and you can also use it as a battery bank to charge your mobile device or whatever it may be. Very nice. Excellent, so dude. That's the Guardian. Um, retail price on that guy is 179 Okay. Who are you targeting this at? This is a, a general consumer light, pretty much e everyday use. This is a good all around the house use or in the car. Again, because it's a battery bank and it has both reflectors for distance and close in, it's an extremely versatile light. In no way is this a tactical light, though. Gotcha. This is a general use. I got it. And I can see that it's going to be very utilitarian as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, what else? What else this is the uh, Dual Fuel Fury. So again, it uses an 18650 lithium ion battery, which is a rechargeable battery, similar to our Dual Fuel Scout. Yeah. And the output's the same as well. So 1500 lumens on high. Or when you use two 123s, it'll be 1200 lumens. Gotcha. So extremely, extremely bright output. That uh, very well received uh, beam pattern of our Furies that people like so much. Mm -hmm. So the Fury has a very, very Good hot spot, but a whole lot of spill. So it's a kind of a good general use uh, reflector as far as the beam pattern goes. So that's the, the Fury DF, or our, our dual fuel Fury. Cool. Moving on to our EDCL lights. Uh, EDC, obviously everyday carry lights. Yeah. There's a two and a one. It just stands for how many batteries. So this is the six volt with two batteries. That's the three volt with one battery. With the six volt one, you get 1200 lumens on high. So extremely bright for the size and the weight. This also has a uh, dual direction pocket clip, so it can be clipped in your pocket, bezeled down. Or bezel Or up. it can be clipped, yeah, exactly. Nice. Bezel, bezel up. You can also use that to put it underneath the bill of your hat and use it as an impromptu Love it. headlamp. I Love do that all it. the time on the range. Yep, me too. The tail cap is pressed lightly for low and then harder for high. Oh, that's cool. For constant on, you twist to get constant on. So that's what we consider our tactical tail cap with the reason being on the click type tail caps that have two outputs, you press once for you know one of the outputs, you release and you press again. Yeah. Some people with a tactical mindset don't want that because you don't want to ever have the possibility of getting a low output when you need a high. Yes. With this, no matter what, as long as you smash it, you're getting a high. Oh, nice. And that's the same for both the EDCL1 and the EDCL2. Hey, that's all right, man. I like that. Yeah. So the one is 500 lumens uh, on high and five lumens on low. And again, the two is 1,200 lumens on high and five lumens on low. That, uh, that's not a bad size at all. I no. actually like that quite a bit. That's one of my favorite new lights for sure. Cool. So moving. Uh, moving on, we have the uh, G2Z XMV and the G2XMV. MV stands for max vision. You'll see that in several of our lights. That's the beam pattern that's extremely wide in nature. Okay. Not much of a hot spot, but very, very floody. Yes. Very good for intermediate to close ranges. Wall of light, so to say. Yeah, exactly. So G2X is a polymer body. Um, again, max vision reflector, 600 lumens. And then the G2ZX, kind of what we were talking about earlier, is very good for using in conjunction with the pistol uh, and a okay. syringe type grip. Gotcha. So it has that integrated combat ring into the body. Yeah, so you very can much. Use it exactly, in I conjunction gotcha. with the pistol. And that's high only. Okay, gotcha. One nice thing about that wide max vision beam pattern when using it with a pistol is it's very forgiving if you might be canted slightly off target with something with a narrow hot spot that's kind of detrimental. With a wide wall of light, even if you're pointing it a little bit down or up. You're, you're going to be able to identify your target. Exactly right. I like it. The tactician. So. As the name suggests, it's a tactical oriented light. Mm -hmm. the, tact the tail cap is tactical and it's only high. It's 800 lumens. It's a max vision reflector, so again, very, very wide, great for intermediate distances. Um, and you twist it for constant on. Okay, great. To get to a low output, you back the head off a quarter turn 
and now you're at the low output okay. of five lumens. Okay, easy enough. So it's a deliberately different way to get to the low output, again, with the mindset that this you is a fighting light. don't accidentally want to jump to low. Exactly right. Okay. So that's the, uh, the Tactician, 800 lumens on high, five lumens on low, with that Max Vision reflector. Nice. Currently available, shipping right now. Excellent. So our G2X series, these are kind of our bread and butter, some of our staple lights. They're polymer bodies and tail caps with aluminum heads. And you can get them in any of the colors seen right here. It's a $70 MSRP, kind of our entry level light, great light. They've recently been upgraded to 600 lumens on high. Very nice. 15 lumens on low. We make both dual output versions that go low first and then high. And we make single output versions that are only high. The mindset behind low first on the dual output versions is if you're using it as an outdoors light or a backpacker, yeah. then you don't want to overwhelm your night vision. You know, if you're yeah, bringing it out sure. to just for like a, a close in task, oh, of course, yeah. you know, it's not a light for when you're in a tactical situation, it's a general use light. Yeah, yeah, so I it like goes it. low first, and then if you want to see further, you can click again for high. Awesome, dude. So uh, over here, Another versions of the G2X, these are the tactical versions. We have a, a combat grip ring. This is the standard reflector, gives you more throw. Um, and then we have a dual output and a single output version of them as well. Very nice. Six PXs, again, upgraded to 600 lumens. Those are the same as the G2Xs, but fully aluminum. Okay. And then we'll go right here to the most brand new light, which is the Stiletto, or the PLR. So it's a pocket light rechargeable. That's what the PLR stands for. I'll rotate this over so you can take a look at that pocket clip. And you wear it in a pocket similar to the way I'm wearing this one over here. So the idea behind it is it's shaped like a knife, really, really narrow. It's got a lithium polymer battery. Keeps the weight really, really low. 650 lumens on high. It's max vision reflector. Uh, it's US, micro USB rechargeable. And there's also a, a tail cap switch oh, okay. at Great. the back. So you can use it in a kind of a baton type grip. So you can switch to what works for you, I like it. Yep, it's also uh, programmable. That switch on the left that you just press is the programming switch. So you, you can choose what, pro or what switches do what. There's five different programs that you can select between, whether you want this to do you know, low first, high first, you want the tail cap just to be, right now it's just high on a momentary consistent uh, basis. Mm -hmm. So you can select different programs uh, to choose the way you want to run this light. Gotcha. Uh, and this is running MSRP of 109 it looks like. That's correct. And this yeah. is targeted towards kind of just daily use, really. EDC market, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Nice, high powered, very functional and uh, full featured. Easy to carry, easy to pull out and use in a, in, a, in a pinch. Low profile, lightweight. I like it actually, and it's, you know, it's, you're giving it this nice kind of wide, flat yep. uh, um, sort of a build rather than the round, which, which lends can itself to pocket. Exactly right. Nice, very nice. Yeah, it's kind of a different take on the way to carry a light. Uh, yeah, totally. So, yeah, that rounds out uh, our illumination tools for this year. I like it, dude. You got a couple other things we should see, though, too. Yep, we'll step over to the suppressor counter. Right on, let's go. So we'll start with our, our new 260 suppressor. This is a uh, titanium, a full titanium suppressor. Um, built for the military, but will be consumer available. 260 is a, a growing caliber and gaining in popularity. Okay. Cool thing about this can, if you go ahead and feel the weight of it, it's 12 ounces, so extremely lightweight. 7.9 inches, so relatively compact. So that'll Very be available nice. by the end of Q1. Uh, retail price $13.49. Street price, obviously, you'll be able to find it for a little bit lower than that. But yeah. very excited for the size and weight of this. Uh, out as far as the uh, sound, depending on ammo, about 130 to 135 decibels. Okay, gotcha. So extremely quiet, well under uh, hearing safe. Cool. Uh, while we're on suppressors, before we go to that, we'll talk real quick on this. We've been asked for this for quite a while. All this is basically, I'll show you the inside of it. It's a carbon scraper. So you slide it over your adapter, whether it's a muzzle brake or a flash hider, and you rock it back and forth, and it, it breaks the carbon off the adapter to uh, ease the uh, mounting and, and dismounting of suppressors. Yeah, of course. Just a cleaning tool. Something that people have been asking for? Yep, for quite a while. We're making these both in 5.56 and 7.62. Excellent. Next up is our OBC. So with the OBC, you get the bolt carrier group, and then the buffer spring and the buffer. We'll focus on the bolt carrier group for the purpose of this video. So with the OBC, stands for, stands for Optimized Bolt Carrier. We've been working for, with Jim Sullivan for quite some time. He's one of the uh, originators with bringing the platform from 7.62 to 5.56. Um, genius as far as weapon designing goes. You know, he's designed countless designs. One of the cool things about this 
carrier group is it has a counterweight in the back that's suspended by springs both forward and to the rear. So this counterweight, what it does when the bolt carrier cycles to the rear, that counterweight helps keep the entire carrier to the rear for an extended period of time because that weight continues to move rearward. Yeah. Consequently, because there's also a spring in the front, when it moves forwards and slams home, the weight is also continues to slam forward, keeping the bolt carrier forward. So it reduces your bolt bounce, or it actually eliminates your bolt bounce. Wow. If you watch a bolt carrier group on high-speed film, you'll yeah. see that it bounces usually two or three times. This eliminates that completely. Wow. Another change with this, you'll notice that the cam pin channel has been lengthened so that the bolt sticks out a little bit further. Yeah. That increases your lock time. Also, the carrier key is shortened to increase travel. It's one uh, gas, one stake, or excuse me, one gas carrier key yes. screw. Right. Uh, one gigantic one, by the way. I can see it's that. Too small. I can see that. So a lot of people have asked, isn't one weaker? No, it's it's so big that it, the mathematically it is a stronger solution. Gotcha. So all in all, what these changes do is increase reliability. It does reduce your cyclic rate, but that's not the main goal, is to increase your reliability, especially yes. when running suppressed. Okay, gotcha. So now more and more people are running fully suppressed all the time for training and everything, especially military and police, but also, you know, consumers. Um, this is a great solution, audience. exactly. Gotcha. It's, a, it's a great solution to running fully suppressed uh, and helping maintain reliability while running suppressed. What's our MSRP gonna be on this guy? 399 for the, uh, the carrier group with the buffer and the buffer spring. Okay. Okay. It's an H2S, uh, five ounce buffer. Okay. Uh, coated in or treated how? I don't know if we're saying what it's coated in just yet, but okay. it, it's a, a specialized coating that's really, really good lubricity um, and very, very, very durable. We did we tested a lot of different um, surfaces. We ended up on this one. Uh, I don't think we're releasing what it is just yet. Gotcha. Understand. But uh, very soon, this should be available by the end of Q1. End of Q1. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for it, man. That's awesome. a lot of stuff to look at, but it was great. <laughs> a lot of stuff to cover, but I appreciate you taking the time to All do right, it. All right, Andrew, thank you so much. Thank you very much for stopping by. All right, we're at Surefire SHOT Show 2018. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Zach with Blade HQ, and this is my Razor Sharp H&K Mini Axis, and my favorite thing to cut with it is warm butter.